सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए हमारी लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई एन टी गुड़गांव डॉट कॉम आई एम डॉक्टर मनीष प्रकाश सीनियर ई एन टी कंसल्टेंट एट पी ओम हॉस्पिटल गुड़गांव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ईयर ट्यूब प्रॉब्लम्स ईयर ट्यूब ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्टेचन ट्यूब इज अ वेरी नैरो ट्यूब विच कनेक्ट द ईयर टू द बैक ऑफ द नोज एंड द कॉमन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस ट्यूब इज टू बैलेंस द प्रेशर इन द मिडिल ईयर एंड द आउटसाइड Now, when this tube is not working well, we sometimes feel a sensation of pressure or blockage in our ears. Something similar to when we feel when uh, when we are doing an aeroplane journey, when the plane is descending down, we start feeling some pressure in the ear. And when we open our mouth or we use a chewing gum or we swallow or we drink some water, this tube will open up, and we may hear a pop noise and the pressure is relieved. So this is the. pressure relieving tube inside our ears now when this tube does not work well we face problems face problems of barotrauma and this barotrauma can lead to a lot of pain especially during pressure change this pressure change can be experienced during a flight journey especially during the descent of the flight or during an underwater uh, expedition like a scuba diving or if we are going in a high pressure lift from a very high altitude if we come down we may feel this kind of problem also when we are going to any hill stations and if we are coming down very quickly in a car we may feel that our ears are blocking and sometimes they may just pop out when we are blowing our ears so this is a common problem which is faced by many cabin crew and airline staff and pilots and also passengers now how do we go about treating this problem for people who are suffering from this problem the stetchian tube does not open well because either it is very narrow or it is blocked and that is why it does not work very well till this time we did not have any diagnosis for such kind of problems and any treatments nowadays we have stetchian tube function test in which we can see whether the stetchian tube is working well enough or not whether it is able to vent out the pressure which we are putting on the eardrum or not these tests are very sophisticated pressure instruments for which we used to diagnose this problem now coming to the treatment of such kind of problems a revolutionary new treatment has been introduced for this kind of problem in which a small balloon by the help of an endoscope is put into the nose and from the nose we put this balloon into the stetchian tube this balloon is used to inflate and dilate the stetchian tube to a pressure of 12 atmospheres pressure and this helps to increase the dimension of the stetchian tube and allow the air to pass freely this tube is generally kept dilated for a period of 1 to 2 minutes depending on which kind of balloon we are using and after we have inflated it for 2 minutes we would gradually deflate the balloon and take out the balloon sometimes we also put a small grommet or a t tube into the eardrum to allow the recovery of the retraction of the eardrum if it has already happened this is a very useful treatment because it is an endoscopic treatment and many airline staff and cabin crew who are suffering from this problem can do this treatment and they can resume their duty the next day itself thank you